so and if you don't live in the u.s so you don't celebrate thanksgiving well i feel sorry for you because it's yummy <laughs> and as you may or may not know from watching the show we raise our own turkeys the last probably four or five years tried it one year say hey let's let's try this raise a couple turkeys the problem is once you do that you can't go back you can't go back to the store about stuff and uh yeah but enough of that it was good it was very tasty enjoyed all of it enjoyed time with uh, family and friends and stuff so that was all good but today i have a treat for you i always have a treat for you today i'm gonna unbox one i've been wanting to unbox for a while uh i got one was it like an all-stars i never i missed out on one of those like the first he was one of the first figures released i think from the first wave and i don't know why i always thought he was like so cool and it's tedious i didn't i there i mean from the early waves of skeletons i think him and malleus the, the only two i've been missing for the longest time and i missed out on malleus last time so i don't know if i'm ever gonna get a hold of him but that being said we have tibius today we're going to unbox him I he, he came a, a months ago. He's been sitting over there. I totally forgot he's been sitting in that box. And yeah, you may have seen him reviewed somewhere else because he's been out for a while, but you haven't seen me review him, so let's get to it. Well, let's check him out. What do we got going on here? So one of the most ancient living skeletons roaming the earth. Tibius commands many of the deadlier battalions battalions. Of necro necro necromonous army, interesting. Single-minded to a fault, he is consumed with recruiting soldiers and bolstering his ranks. A master fighter in his own right, Tibius is renowned for his savage skill at wielding his twin swords on the battlefield. Now, let me ask you this: If you're a skeleton, how hard is it to recruit for your army? Right. Think about that. So. Do you have skeletons that say, you know, no, I'm sorry, I'm a pacifist. I don't want to join your army. I just want a garden. I mean, is that a thing? I don't know. I've never seen it in any old sci-fi movies or comic books. Skeletons are always killing other people to make more skeletons. But if he has to go recruiting, I mean, what is it? Is it recruiting? Is he you know, killing people and turning them into skeletons? Or is he going to the mall, the skeleton mall, and say, hey, you know, handing out leaflets, hey, you know, join. Join the skeleton army. You'll love it. It's great. Uh, I don't know. But let's uh, let's crack this guy open. Why is he not held in there with anything? I didn't do an unboxing of him yet. Why is he missing his... I guess he just never got any last twist ties or anything. I don't know. Let's check it out. See what's going on here. Oh, yeah. He has a cape. So, accessories. Yeah, he's not elastic in there. I never opened it. I don't know. I don't know. This is still on there. Anywho, go oh shoot. Got a bunch of silica gel. Wow, he's got a lot of swords, actually. Oh, I'm looking at this. Oh, does he have he has a second head? I didn't realize he had a second head. Let's crack this open. Try and get this on camera for you. You know, I like to go through all the accessories here. Oh, I forgot he's got shoulder pauldrons too. Sweet. Okay, so he has got red sword, red dagger. Ooh, more of a black sword. Same design, I think. Just different, different paint. Is it? Yeah, same design. Same design, just different. Oh, I think I might have to go with that red. Uh, very nice. Black dagger. Ooh, this is gonna be hard to choose. Definitely got some different different colorings going on there. Now, is this just something they did with the All Stars? I don't know, because I didn't. Like I said, I didn't have original. We're gonna compare these swords in a minute. Oh, there his cape fell out of the back. That works. I forgot he had a cape. Some of the new soft goods on the new one are just awesome. But here we go. So we've got. Red or black and gold? Ooh, I don't know. That's a tough choice. Why not both? Right? Maybe 
can't control that, can you? So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Is one his uh his formal dress color or what? Second second skeleton head. Ooh, articulated jaw. Right. I don't think. But he doesn't have the red paint. I love the red paint. That's the thing. That's what makes what makes him him. I would prefer him with an articulated jaw because he makes me yelling, but that red paint just kind of does something for me. I mean, not that I couldn't do without the other guys, but I shouldn't have any, any worries about him snapping because he's been sitting over there for months. But he's getting your standard Mythic Legion's articulation. Uh, some nice dirty wash here, so it makes him look a little bit more dead. It's cool. I'll look at the cape, see how that goes. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think. You get options, I think, so you can go like that. Oh, I, th I, th I think I know. I think you're supposed to actually. That's why it's folded that way. Yes, 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 yes. That makes sense. Show you what I mean here. In case I've just been doing that off camera, I haven't been paying attention, honestly. So if I was doing that off camera, I apologize. But I think you can come here. And these old capes, honestly, these old fab, they are, compared to the new stuff, these are garbage. They're paper, right? But think, I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, they were awesome at the time, but I give four horsemen credit. They have upped their game the last couple of years. Uh, they're always improving. Got this on the wrong fracking side. Um, I know what I'm doing. I'm a big boy. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. We don't use harsh language here, but we do use very um, insensitive language here. Put it that way. We don't like it. Whatever. I'm just in one of those moods today. You don't like it? Get out! Uh, here we go. I feel like Mr. Butterfingers. Just call me Mr. Butterfingers. Okay. So, as you can see what I'm doing here, right? Put that like that, and hope oh, you can move the hole. Could you just, there we go. So, like that. Again, I think I'm doing this right, but that seemed kind of. Like, there are very few figures that would say, hey, I want to go buy one of those cool aftermarket capes for, but this guy would be it. Because he's Tibius. And he's just badass looking. Except for the fact that he has no pants. But not like he has to worry about. Well. <laughs> Uh, I mean, his bones are already hanging out, so uh, there's so many jokes to be had there, but we're going to keep it PG-13-ish this time. Right. Let's see if we can get this in there. There's Michael Scott. I need him. Yeah, it's kind of like you kind of want to have that sort snug so it doesn't all bunch up on there and have it hanging way back and be a stud on the hole. Make all the jokes you want, I don't care. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you can still lean him like an idiot, but okay. Yeah, Tibia has been one of my one of my biggest wants for the longest while. After after Pixis, which I've got, I I have Pixis. Um, 
plus Pixis. It's pretty bad. I don't know the names of half the characters. Honestly, if you ask me, say, point of my mythical agent, say, hey, tell me the name of that guy. I don't know, but the skeletons? Skeletons, I know, but not many of them have names. So. Ah, oh, shiznit. I should have put his. Well, I don't think he really needs that, does he? Because I need. Look, he's got two belt things here. He's like, alright, he's got his backup sword. Do I really need to put the ubiquitous leather belt on him? I don't think so. I don't think so. I kind of want to put the dagger there. All right, before I do that, let's let's kind of look at him, right? Let's see if we can bring this down a little bit. Yeah, here we go. So, check this out with me. It's not a wired cape, but honestly, I don't think it really needs to be. Don't ask me why, but I just think Tidious is kind of badass. I should have got my little Crazy Susan. I always forget to do that. I don't know why. I haven't thought it just for doing these kinds of videos. I forgot all about it. So you get your regular Mythic Legion's articulation. Um, it, it is interesting to see the differences between some of these older ones and some of the newer ones and stuff they're coming out with, stuff they're doing, uh, especially like the new, the new stuff that's coming out. Um, yeah, very cool. I kind of want to put his daggers here, right? So a red dagger, because I feel like they're not going to be as obtrusive. And then give him. Again, the colors are different, but then kind of give him like his sword to hold, and the dagger to be the backup. Oh yeah, I think I'll rotate this guy. I'm always worried I'm gonna break off the thumb, but the pretty forgiving. The red paint is kind of a sell. I wonder if he needs a second sword or not. Couldn't hurt. But yeah, that's that's my man, Tibius, my very bony man. Uh, I might leave this sword off for now. Probably gonna leave this off for now because I, I don't necessarily like everybody having the same stinking belt. Like this guy back here has a belt. Uh, he's got the belt back here. Uh, everybody seems to have the belt, so I think we're gonna leave that off for now. I could change my mind. But again, you get a good amount of accessories with him. Now I have an extra skull, extra articulated skull. Ooh, I know what I'm doing with that. I'm going to have a, uh, I might have to order me a Cosmic Legions space guy for this, an extra skull. Yes. Yes. Score. Anyways, that's a whole conversation. But what do you think? Have, do you have Tibius? Do you like Tibius? Do you hate Tibius? I wish I had Pixis out on my shelf because I would totally have Pixis out here right now. I honestly should have all my skeletons out, but I know the last, what, half dozen videos I've said, oh, I need to clean my shelf off because it's a mess. Well, guess what I haven't done? I haven't cleaned my shelf off. All that's happening is stuff is stacking up all over it. And I don't like my shelves to look like that. Some people do. You go and you see their collection. It's just pile you know you got 20 action figures per square inch that's not me i don't like that i'll teach their own i would rather put them in storage and bring them out from time to time and appreciate them but again that's me so anyways tibius what do you think uh like tibius love tibius hate tibius have tibius some people hate the skeletons that's okay i hate the dwarves so <laughs> it's fair i love the dwarves <laughs> not my thing um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching, you know, get in on the conversation, leave a, a note down below. Appreciate you stopping by watching. And I'm so psyched to have this guy now. I'm so happy I finally unboxed him. He's going right on my shelf, my very messy shelf. But again, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon. See ya.